Hi guys, we're going to start this section talking about the Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud EC2. And I wanted to start the discussion by talking about traditional servers so we can compare traditional servers against EC2. So this is a traditional server here, and yours might not look quite like this. The form factor could be for a rack, but either way, it's going to be a physical box sitting in your data center somewhere. So what is it composed of? Well, it's composed of some physical hardware. Now clearly there's more pieces of hardware in a server than on this list, but these are the ones that are important to our discussion today. And these are the most important pieces of hardware in a server. So firstly, you have the processor, the CPU. You have RAM, which is the memory. You have disk, which is where you store data. And then you have the network interface card for sending data over a network. You then also have an operating system. So the operating system is typically Linux or Windows, could be Unix or Solaris or something like that, but the most common are Windows and Linux. And in the cloud world, Linux is by far the most popular operating system. So that's the one we typically concentrate on when we're talking about cloud. So that's what a traditional server looks like. And if you need to upgrade your server, the way you do that is you either buy another one of these or you upgrade some of these components. So you might be able to add more disk, you might be able to add more RAM or an extra CPU. But it does mean purchasing physical hardware and then going in and adding it into your server. So that's the traditional server. Now as you know, AWS is a web service. So as a web service, you go into the Amazon EC2 management console. So this icon represents the EC2 management console. And you can then go and launch an EC2 instance. So an instance is an individual server. It's a virtual server. And what is an instance composed of? Well, an instance is composed of an Amazon machine image. So this is one of the selections. When you go to launch your instance, you have to choose what's known as an Amazon machine image. And this image is composed of a snapshot. Now, don't worry if this is going a bit over your head. Basically, what a snapshot is, it's a copy of an elastic block store volume. So if you can go back to the disk on the previous slide, it's essentially a copy of a disk. And on that EBS snapshot is going to be one of these operating systems. So it's either going to have Linux pre-installed or it's going to have Windows pre-installed. So what you need to do is choose your image. And essentially there you're choosing your operating system and however that operating system is being configured. It's then also composed of virtual hardware. And in this case, in EC2, you choose an instance type, and there's lots of different instance types, and they have different configurations of CPU, RAM, disk, and network interface. And what we'll do later in this section is we'll look at instance types in a lot more detail so you understand the different types of instance that are available. So that's it for just framing what EC2 is at a very, very high level. I just wanted to show you how EC2 compares to a traditional server. So just remember that a traditional server is a physical box in your data center. If you want to upgrade that or replace it, you have to replace the hardware or put new hardware in. Whereas an EC2 instance is a virtual server running on the AWS cloud, and that will run Windows or Linux. And you can quite easily launch these through a web interface.